Um, so all day I was uh, testing different scanning methods from Silverfast to Epson Scan to ViewScan and doing a vector test to see what to um, what resolution is best uh, of the low what's the lowest resolution I can put as a vector um, first to go what's the lowest resolution I can go on vectorize uh, io to create a vector that still has some focus um, and uh, what's the lowest resolution I could um, I could create to put on make potentially Bitcoin ordinals. And then I realized I didn't really need to make a, a vector to put on Bitcoin um, because I could just use the lowest JPEG. And that JPEG, if there's ever a vector, like talk about like long-term, who knows, like in a hundred years, if there's a software like this, it'll be just better to just use a low quality JPEG, like 46 kilobytes, because if I use a 46 kilobyte and create a vector through that, or even create like a hundred and or even with the highest quality JPEG, create like a hundred and fifty kilobyte vector, that vector isn't as good of quality as um, a, a lower quality JPEG. Um, and I found out because of uh, Silverfast. I don't know if I'm explaining exactly uh, the best, but basically I found that Silverfast makes the highest quality image, the highest size resolution. This is a redo of something else with Silverfast. Um, but let's say I want to make a greeting card size scan. It comes out at like 50 kilobytes, whereas every other software was like in the hundreds. Um, that's important because it'll be a JPEG, a greeting card size resolution, true to size, like it'll be actually the size of a greeting card, like what you see on this screen. And then I put, if you want to put, like, let's say in a hundred years, if this is, if Bitcoin's still around, which most likely it probably will be, you can put that on like a vector software and vectorize that. And it'll come out pretty good, um, at 50 kilobytes. But then I've realized when I went on Printify, uh, well, anyway, well, I went on Printify and I was playing around with different ones. It was a little blurry. And I was like, oh, wow, 50 kilobytes. It's a little, I mean, it's a vector, so it's not blurry, but from what it produced, this is the highest resolution version, but from what it produced, a 50 kilobyte version was a little blurry. This is, these three of them were now, but like, let's say, which one was it? Like this is one of these was a 50 kilobyte version. And I was like, um, damn. So then I, I scanned it at twice the resolution. That was, that was, that was at hundred DPI. That was, yeah, like right here. Then I scanned it at twice the resolution. It came out to 150 kilobytes. And that ended up being pretty good. That resolution was twice as much. It was, yeah, there was, it was fine for Printify. And it was even fine for a very large upscale um, because it's a vector. So the, the focus was just fine and it came out really nice. Um, what's also good was because I didn't realize I could just put in a very small JPEG on Bitcoin Never mind just a vector, and then somebody, if they want to vectorize it, they can. Um, I was already at the point where I was willing to spend the money to s you put in like a 120 kilobyte vector. And then I got down to like 46 kilobytes on a JPEG that was producing a, a vector almost just as good. I was like, wow, I'm saving so much money. But the, then the quality and the printer file was like, ah, I'm not sure. So at, at twice the resolution, it's a 200 DPI, 150 kilobyte JPEG that produces a really good quality vector. I was already gonna spend 124 for the kilobytes and that's if I get the Bitcoin. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get the Bitcoin or try to get like um, crowdfunding or something, but that's what I've done.
it took a long time plus i'm redoing this a little bit um with silver fast just to see it uh, went out to uh, the custom village um uh, and i'm gonna i should have emailed them earlier but i fell asleep again my schedule sleep schedule is all messed up just working at night um so uh but yeah that's where i'm at and uh I know Valentine's Day is coming soon. I'm going to miss that in terms of selling merch, but focusing just on NFTs because the price of Bitcoin is moving and it can go up and go down. Once I get the Bitcoin, once I learn a little bit more about Bitcoin too, um, then it'll be a lot easier. And as far as merch, a lot of those projects anyway, they start selling merch later on. The mo most important thing I really got to focus on is just getting customers finding enough people to willing to buy well, what i'm selling because as much as i focus on the art and design and i did that a little bit with the halloween and christmas stuff i should have done it even less with the halloween well maybe not the halloween i just started but maybe even less with the christmas stuff um focus on just one design and then once i got one design try to get a lot of customers all right so I'll just uh do a little bit more i forget i think i gotta look at something else related to silver fast and everything and then from there i'll start rescanning everything because it's a lower oh that's another thing i'm not gonna scan tips anymore those scanning tips they're in the hundreds of megabytes the quality of jpeg at a really high resolution will come out to less than 10 megabytes and it's just, yeah, it's just as good as the TIFF. You know, these are drawings. These aren't photos. These aren't negatives. Something less than 10 megabytes that could be used on, vec the highest resolution can be used on vector, under 10 megabytes on vector uh, vectorizer.io, and you could email it. Um, with a TIFF, you would have to know how to convert it. It just would be a lot easier with JPEGs. So from now on, I'm going to go with JPEGs. Luckily, I didn't go too much into the whole row of things I had before I found this out. Um, I am going really slow. Like I said, I missed the Valentine's Day selling, but now I'm actually going in a complete comprehensive, the whole greeting cards, everything. Um, I'm also debating whether I could even, I should even scan any of these uh, blanks because I could use the vector dot, vectorizer.io to take out the background, take out colors and stuff, but. It doesn't come out perfect sometimes, so I think I will scan these. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think the most important thing, yeah, just figuring out now of all the, the technical stuff and then getting the ball rolling on that while waiting for Bitcoin, I guess you could say. Just, um, I mean, I know I could buy it now. And it won't be a big deal. Buy some, spend some money on it now and then maybe try to sell like one or two cars and then get the ball rolling with that. But maybe I'm being a little greedy trying to wait till it goes low or if it goes higher. Um, but I'll see, I'm also having trouble with like different like exchanges. It took a while Qcoin to respond to me and now I'm not even on that. I gotta go to Coinbase or some other exchange or buy on Cash App or buy on Strike or buy, I've got to learn how to buy Bitcoin. Uh, just just to make an ordinal, I gotta have some Bitcoin. So I'll go from there, see what happens. All right.